इट इज अ ग्रेट एंड प्लेजेंट फीलिंग टू बी इंटरक्टिंग विथ माई स्टूडेंट्स विथ माई नियर एंड डियर वन टूडेज लेक्चर इज अबाउट यूर मैथ सेमिस्टर टू एग्जामिनेशन इन प्री बोर्ड्स आई हैव सीन दैट स्टूडेंट्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग विथ कंप्लीशन ऑफ देयर पेपर दे आर नॉट जस्ट इन पोजिशन टू कंप्लीट देयर पेपर they say that they know all the answers they can solve each and every question but the deciding factor was a time limit the time limit of 90 minutes or 1 and 1/2 hour given to the students to solve 40 marks question is not enough they find it difficult to solve the entire paper they leave one or two questions here and there sir what is the solution to this problem if we try to locate the exact cause of the problem according to me cause is the bifurcation of your syllabus i feel that it is not done properly all the chapters except for similarity were related to unit algebra and algebra is easiest of a lot those questions are easy and could be solved quickly now you can have a look on your screen i call these chapters as a speed breaker chapters let us talk about these chapters now if you see chapter like statistics that involves easy but lengthy calculations and you go wrong with your one small calculation and your entire effort is ruined so these questions where you find out mean median mode where intense calculation is required so you have to be very careful you have to be very quick you have to be fast and accurate with all your calculations if you go wrong with the calculation not only you waste your time but you also don't get the marks and the graph a real problem and specially you are graph related question where you are required to draw s type of graph when you draw s type of graph that involves a free hand joining of one point with the another point so we cannot be sure about the accuracy of our answer and also the major problem is the time it consume it take almost 10 to 15 minutes for one question or even more than that so graph related question was a major culprit during your pre board exams for not completing your paper so what to do about it just hang on i'll give you a solution also the next speed breaker is the chapter mensuration you may say no sir i don't agree mensuration is quite easy only hurdle is the formula and i am thorough with the formula so i can easily solve this question yes my dear you can easily solve the question but when you have to multiply a three digit number with a three digit number or a four digit number with a three digit number that is going to consume a lot of time you have to stay cool and calm to get the correct answer that too in a given time the next chapter is heights and distances when you solve questions from this chapter you need to draw a diagram of a given situation a man is standing on a lighthouse he is looking at the boat approaching towards him or a man is standing at the bank of the river and watching at the tree which is on the other side of the bank this question involves angle of elevation angle of depression and you have to draw a diagram based upon a given situation after drawing a diagram you have to write the measures of the angles and the lengths of the sides that too accurately you have to interpret the entire situation accurately and you have to represent that in your diagram some of the questions even include the use of the log tables from where you find the value of sin theta cos theta or tan theta don't get me wrong i am discussing strategies with you first of all you have to identify your speed breakers you have to recognize the problem only then solution will follow also the chapter circles i have made a special video on the theorems of this circle and also the video on the sure shot questions please watch those videos 
Now let us talk about the time management. We are given 90 minutes to solve 40 marks question. You are going to keep 10 minutes aside so that at the end of the paper you can go through the entire question. You can check whether you have solved the entire paper, whether you have drawn your diagrams correctly, whether you have attached your graph paper properly. For all these things we are going to keep 10 minutes. So all in all we have 80 minutes to solve 40 marks question and this brings us to 2 minutes per question. But as I told you, most of the questions are time consuming. So we have to find out the ways by which we can save our time. Now if you see at the pattern of the question paper, Question number one is a compulsory question MCQ. This is the important question. We can save time over here so that whatever time we have saved in this question number one, we can give it to the other difficult question which is time consuming. Then comes question number two, three, four, five and six. So these are five questions and you have to solve only three questions out of those five. So here you have to select three questions of your choice very smartly. To choose a correct question also requires a special skill. Yes, selecting a question also requires a special skill. Don't make your mind that I am going to opt for this chapter and I am going to leave this chapter as an option. That will be a big mistake you are going to make. If you leave any chapter as an option, so selecting a question during the examination leaves no option for you all. My suggestion is don't leave any chapter as an option. Whatever chapters you have, please make sure that you go through all the chapters and you have a good hold over the concept of each and every chapter. See, we teachers have this bad habit of giving a difficult questions in the pre-board examination. And some teachers, unko to aghori anand milta hai jab wo aapke marks kaatte hai, jab aapko wo kam marks dete hai, jab aapko wo fail karte hai. But remember that in board examination, most of the questions will be from your core concept. I am not saying that question will not be challenging but it will be based upon the core concept of every chapter. So have a good hold on the concept, on the formulae, on the theorems and practice few sums. If you want, I will give you a downloadable link of my super 20 questions in the description box. So go to a description box, click on the downloadable link and download my super 20 questions for all the chapters. Please practice those 20 questions. When I have framed those questions, I have made sure that your entire concept is covered by the means of those 20 questions. Each and every theorem is used. Each and every formula is used and you are thoroughly prepared for the examination. Because all the questions which will be there in your examination will be from my super 20 question. Either same or similar questions will come in the examination. And this confidence is backed by my experience of so many years. So you have to be benefited from this experience. You have a reading time of 10 minutes. Use that reading time properly. Get the advantage of that reading time. 5 out of 10 minutes you can use to select 3 questions which you are going to solve out of the given 5 questions and other 5 minutes keep reserved for MCQs. In your mind you can solve MCQs and you can be ready with your answers. Because for MCQ you have to write only answer you need not solve the entire sum or the steps just you have to write question number one correct option is A or question B correct option is B and so on. If you use your reading time properly half of the battle is already won. At 10.50 you are going to get question paper in your hand. First 5 minutes you are going to solve all the MCQ orally within your mind and be ready with the answers for the MCQ. You will start writing your paper at 11 am and by 11.10 you are going to complete your question number 1 which is based on MCQs. Then comes section B of your paper. 
in section B, there are five questions given and you have to solve any three out of those five questions. You have to select these three questions smartly. Now that you have selected three out of five given questions, between 11.20 to 11.30, you are going to solve that questions which you think is the easiest of a lot out of three questions which you have selected between 11.20 to 11.30 you are going to solve the easiest between these three questions now from 11.30 to 11.55 you are going to solve the second of your selected question and the last question which you think is the challenging one that you can start solving from 11.55 to 12.20 and last 10 minutes revisit your paper recheck your paper see that you have solved all the questions you have not missed out on any question in a hurry also check whether you have attached your graph paper properly as per the rule also you have drawn your diagrams properly recheck whether all your multiplications, divisions, additions and subtractions are done properly. If you think you have solved your question number 1 which is a compulsory question based upon MCQs properly and also 3 questions out of 5 given questions from section 2 you have completed and still you have ample of time you can try and see that you solve one extra question but only if you have ample time in your hand or my suggestion will be select your questions properly and solve them time management is very very important especially for maths paper because i have seen during pre-board students were struggling to complete their maths paper mera ye manna hai ki semester 1 mein jo physics paper ke saath hua वो सेमिस्टर टू में मैथ्स के पेपर के साथ हो सकता है सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू ऑल द चैप्टर्स वी आर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस प्रॉपरली ऑन डेली बेसिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज अ टाइम मैनेजमेंट प्रॉपरली वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सैंपल पेपर्स एज मेनी एज पॉसिबल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट फुल फोर्टी ऑन फोर्टी इन मैथ्स